Hey, hey, what's good, y'all? Um, I'm uh, here to basically give our blessings uh, to all uh, the family, anyone's uh, basically that's been hurt or injured or lost from my family to yours. Uh, just uh, giving you guys uh, some update here on some uh, mental health uh, situation, you know. Uh, I uh, basically been uh, posting this on my platform for uh, about a year now uh, due to a uh, family member of mine uh, uh, falling to us uh, to mental health, you know what I mean? Uh, just trying to keep the, uh, the heavy, uh, you know, the wording out, but y'all, y'all could uh, picture this uh we got here on this video here that I'm uh, reposting and uh, reviewing is uh, DJ You So Crazy and also Lil Reese from Chicago, which uh, I think both of these gentlemen uh, basically are from Chicago. Uh, what I'm seeing now is uh, they are uh, doing some type of uh, feeding the homeless uh, movement here or program, whatever they want to call it, uh, due to uh, that I, I feel that uh, Lil Reese was getting a little uh, slack about about a week ago or something to him about uh, mistreating one, a homeless man. Some 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 crap, but you know the side is when you're a celebrity man, you got to uh, really show that you you know what I'm saying that you are mature man. You want people to support you. You have to support the ones who's less fortunate. So, uh, Lil Reese, you know he showed up. Uh, you know. To do his uh, due diligence, you know what I'm saying? Helping out, giving back to the community, man. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? I moved out of Chicago in 93. Uh, anybody in my family, in my friends, neighbors, anybody who I came in contact with, I always get high praises to my hometown. I was always born and raised uh, for people who supported me, for my family, friends, and even strangers. So that's why... Uh, I never have a problem in supporting someone that's homeless or someone that's out struggling. You know what I mean? As long as they're not trying to do body harm to me or no one else. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is what you're seeing right here now. Uh, DJ You Go Crazy and also uh, Lil Reese and his people, uh, his family and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, doing what uh supposed to be done when you get to a high mark in your life you know what i'm saying uh i appreciate seeing stuff like this because it's actually motivating me to uh you know do what i have to do once i get in a position like that or in the better position that i'm in you know what i'm saying so i have got some blessings through uh to god you know he blessed me with some things having a good job you know, keeping that job, being able to stabilize that, uh, having a wife, he blessed me with that. He also blessed me with a car, you know what I'm saying? It took, took a while for me to get on the road due to the COVID situation years ago, but I got it on the road. You know, I'm working with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm blessed for every day to get from point A to point B. But I have to deal with the nonsense, uh, particularly like, you know, doing a uh, public transportation here in New York, and you know how it is. Just recently, uh, someone just got pushed on the track. So it's it's really it's really uh, mind boggling to really like try to even understand something like that. You want to push a person on the track for no reason? That's that's just men that's mentally that's a mental issue. So this is what we're talking about, y'all. Mental health. We have to get these people uh, off these surroundings. We have to get these people in a better situation for themselves because they're reacting against the people, which basically people haven't did anything to them. You know what I'm saying? For most that I know, when I was on the trains before I started got, you know, driving and everything, I used to give, uh, you know what I'm saying, money to people. I had no problem. They get on there dancing, singing, praying, everything. I never had a problem with that. But now I'm hearing, like, you know, this, is, this ain't the first time this happened in New York. It's been going on for a while, but I'm just saying, why? Why would you want to hurt an innocent uh, person? A person that's, uh, you know what I'm saying, that uh, if he refused or she refused to help you, you just keep it moving. You don't get mad. You don't retaliate against the people. 
because those same people, maybe another day, you come and ask for help, you may get it. Lil Reese right now and uh, DJ You Go Crazy been so supportive to the people, giving them money. Hopefully, if they need medicine, you know what I'm saying, if they want to get little extra uh, things that they may need, necessities, and stuff like that. You know, this is appreciated, man. I, I hope you guys really like this video and share it, you know, and uh, like uh, because it's coming from my hometown, which is Chicago in New York City, where I'm at right now. And uh, like I said, uh, this is not uh, unusual. This should be uh, basically passed as some things that uh, in the hood that you pass down to these young, young kids and let them know, man, you don't disrespect and go out hurting these innocent people here, man, no matter if they hooked on drugs, alcohol, whatever it may be. But you got to understand it's a mental problem, man, that's going on. Mental health, they need they need the support. So if you want to be on anybody, get on the government. Get on these politicians. You know, some of you guys, even from homeless people, y'all still can get out and vote. I know most of y'all have their identification. I even know some of them got bank accounts. You know what I mean? So, like I said, we're not looking at that point. The point is, it's like you give, you know what I'm saying, when you got it. You give when you got it. You can't go around spitting on homeless people, you know, beating them up and stuff like that. It's, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You got to be respectful because if it was one of your family members out there on skate row or whatever, you wouldn't want them to do that, whether it's under the Bowery, uh, on the shipyard, uh, uh uh, in the park, uh, up under the bridge, you know what I'm saying? You just got to have respect. If they're, if they're not harming you, you shouldn't harm them. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking through uh, with, uh, through the tongue of God to let you know, you know what I'm saying? And in my situation, I had, I had to go through the same situation, you know what I'm saying? Because I was level-headed. I didn't think, I didn't take, uh, take on the lessons that I have was taught from my mom and dad. And I got a little bit, uh, careless you know what i'm saying my mentality slipped because i put the street and my friends before me and my family and that's how i became homeless as well but i bounced back quick because it wasn't a good feeling i respect what happened no matter what happened and i can remember when i used to ask for help guess what people helped me I'm talking about real gangster niggas, like these thug motherfuckers. There wasn't nobody to name call. You know what I'm saying? Some people didn't give, but guess what? I got support from some people, and I appreciate that, man. So you guys see this video. You see my face. Remember, you helped me, man, because like I said, that's why I do it. No matter what the next person say, oh, why you give it to that homeless person? I, it's not about giving. It's a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a connection, y'all. We have to understand, mental health is rising, it's rising fast. And anyone in my family, they know me. I don't preach hate on nobody. 